welcome back to the next part of this Felicity project in which I will be decorating a straw hat. Actually going forward you can expect the pieces of each project to be broken up a little bit. I didn't really have a plan when I started the original Becoming Felicity project um, and the birthday dress ended up just being one giant mash of a video. Um, on the bright side it ends with a kid in a cute dress but that's not really how I want to do things. So today I'm going to be decorating a straw hat, as I said, so let's get into it. The next book we're doing is Felicity Saves the Day. It's Felicity's summer story and takes place on her grandfather's plantation. Yeah, we'll be talking about that in another video. For this project, I'm reusing my daughter's hat. It's been around and generally looks horrible if you look too closely, so don't. The hat itself is from Colonial Williamsburg and has been with us since she started reenacting in 2015. It's had many different decorations over the years, not unlike hats and clothing in the 18th century. You take it apart and remake it to suit your current tastes. Anyway, that's cleared up and we have a blank base again. Here I have a doll-sized hat from American Girl, and as you can see, it's super simple with the ribbon going over the crown. Unfortunately, this causes something I like to call tunnel hat. It's unsafe and takes away your peripheral vision, so we can't have that. Also, it's not super common. You see this style in some earlier paintings and a few later paintings, but it's not something that you really find in the 1770s. Generally speaking, for a huge portion of the century, it was mostly common for these bergere or dinner plate or chip hats to be decorated on top with the ribbon ties sewn to the interior. All right, at this point, I'm just looking for reasons to show you tiny people in cute hats, so let's get into the making of this. The ribbon I'm using is an absolutely amazing silk satin from Virgil's Fine Goods. Initially, I planned to do a whipped gathered ruffle around the crown, but then I decided that probably wouldn't look great with the flowers added. I'm still not 100% sure. In the end, I decided to go with poofs, as you can see on this hat from the Met, and you can see me marking them here. Now that my ribbon is marked, I'm going to use a silk thread to do a few running stitches followed by a couple of loop stitches to make each individual poof, and then I will pin it onto the hat and stitch it down. With the poofs gathered and pinned on, it was time to try not to stab myself. Time for flowers. The flowers I'm using are from Jenny LaFleur and I believe they're made from mulberry paper, but they are absolutely gorgeous and I'll link to her shop down below.
With the exterior decoration mostly sorted, it's time to take care of the ribbon ties. I'm just trimming off the rough edges and turning them over twice and hemming quickly. These stitches don't need to be super tiny or super tight, but we do want to protect the raw edges because otherwise we'll have unraveling satin ribbon and that is just extremely sad. I'm stitching the ribbon ends about an inch away from the crown directly underneath the flower placement. tie sewn on, I'm taking the ends of the ribbon and giving them a sort of zigzag cut to protect them from fraying too much. And with that, we are finished. So it's all done. That's really exciting. It's only been about an hour and a half since I started. And um, considering I completely changed the design about 20 minutes in, that's not too bad. It's all finished. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan. I think the problem is I don't actually like flowers on hats. I didn't know that because I've never done it before. Um, it, it, so it might be that. It might be the fact that I just want to add a bunch of ribbon around the edge here. So I think what I might do is change this up a bit after we're finished with the project and make it more like a hat, sort of my style. I'm gonna insert right here, maybe, um, kind of what I had in mind for this before I decided to try and bring the original hat into the design a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. Maybe I just need to walk away from the hat for a little while, but it's, it's cute. I think it brings out the original hat design a bit while being more historically appropriate. Um, I think later on I might take the flowers off and do a full ribbon trim border here, maybe a big old bow in the middle, I don't know. Um, but for now I think I think it'll work. I think, I think we've got our hat for Felicity Saves the Day. So in the next video I will be making a cap to go under this and then after that we will work on the gown. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you soon.